Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will have for you pretty different video because it will consist out of different parts but at the same time I think this will you know, work out as a universal video that will work as one perfectly fine video. I'm not sure, let me know in the comments how do you feel about this kind of content. We'll chat about it right later because right now I want to jump straight into the business. So. Probably by the intro you already saw that this weekend I was visiting my grandma and other relatives. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous video I mentioned that this weekend was one year anniversary since my dad passed away. And it was the first anniversary so it definitely wasn't easy for us, for all of us. But we went through this, we got through this and today I wanna have a little bit of, you know, meditation, relaxation for myself. So I want to take you along on a little plenty journey. So first off, yesterday actually was Sunday and I filmed a little, like, a little journey slash, like, a tribute to my dad because, okay, long story short, I am really afraid of driving and I went driving alone. And here's a little footage from that day because, honestly, I feel very proud about it. And I know for a lot of you this might look like, you know, hilarious and nonsense, but for me this was something really special and I really wanted to capture it. So I did and this is where I will insert it. All right, everyone, fun flipping fact. So I am extremely afraid of driving because there were so many accidents that I was so panicking and scared. Oh, for example, my mom actually once almost, almost lost her life when a truck actually hit directly into the bus in the spot where she was sitting. So that was really stressful and crazy. And I myself was in several machine accidents, car accidents. So whenever I need to drive myself, I am freaking out. My hands are shaky. I want to poop <laughs> and all of the fun things, you know. And today, you know what? Um, it's not, not the first time when Agnes says for me, just take my car and go where, wherever you want. If you want, go somewhere close near, near our, you know, uh, neighborhood. So where, you know, the roads and all of that. And I would always say no. I would start crying, have panic attacks and all of that. But today wasn't that day. Today, actually, I took the car and I went to the shop. I am actually sitting next to the shopping mall that I drive to myself. And I even parked 
backwards myself i'll show you in a second how i parked i actually am so excited i think my dad would be so proud of myself this is like a little celebration of my dad today is one year anniversary since my dad passed away and he was the one who taught me driving he he spent so many hours just you know making me feel confident in myself and comfort and comfortable behind the wheel and this is like the only uh, testimony i have of him you know because when he passed away he did not left anything to us with my sister so this is something that i will be able to carry all of my life you know this experience and all of the memories and i just feel so grateful and so proud of myself that i did it i just parked let's let's see how i parked and then let's go plan shopping and grocery shopping oh, my heart is beating <laughs> Oh my gosh, look how perfectly I am standing next to this line. Oh my gosh. Check it out. Check it, this flipping pro. Oh, definitely flipping proud of myself. It's time to go for a little reward. Let's go grocery shopping. <laughs> So I was checking up orchids and actually the lady came with the whole new rack and look at this I decided to pick this one up because of the leaves actually Blooms of course are very nice bonus, right? It's $7.99 by the way But then I saw the leaves and look how variegated they are I mean this side it's already two different colors, right? And on the other side, look at this Isn't that the coolest thing you have ever seen? just love this purple variegation all throughout the leaves and I was checking all of these colors orchids and all of their leaves looks like this so this looks like you know, nature's mistake and I flip and love it so this is a reward for me for driving all the way up here oh, so excited okay reward granted now it's time to go back home and do not kill anybody on the way so seems like mission possible right <laughs> what an a flipping adventure i'm back home everybody's safe and sound no people were harmed during this trip <laughs> wow yeah i'm really excited i have a beautiful orchid as a reward and i feel so happy about it and i really miss my dad but driving i felt like he was sitting next to me and saying what to do and what not to do and it was it was really nice so this is like a very random portion of today's video i know it's like for many people driving is like breathing you know like for example agnes right but for me this is something really stressful and i know a lot of people might find that very funny and you know ridiculous and stuff like that but you know if you would if you would go through so many different emotions when your parent is on the edge of a life because of a car accident or when you yourself feel that bump whenever you hit something like a tree with a car this is something that really stucks in your head in your brain and you really do not want really do not wish this on anybody but whenever you do go through this driving becomes like like an adventure and like a challenge every single time and today i am proud because i flipping nailed it <laughs> but anyway okay i'll see you in another portion of the video it's time to go back to my boys mm -hmm. 
the next day. So just like you saw, I had a pretty adventurous Sunday <laughs> and I was so proud and I have this orchid that you saw in the footage as well. So let me show you a little more close-ups. I actually love that at the same time love and hate that this orchid even though it has beautiful variegated leaves right I'm actually not even sure should I call it variegation or not but it looks for me like variegation so I'll stick with this name so if you can see I think you should be able to see this part of the leaves is way darker and in green right and this one is lighter in green the same is with this leaf and the portion where the leaf is a little bit lighter it's smaller and this part tends to you know wrinkle into inside you get the idea right and since this part is you know normal green like your normal phalaenopsis orchids from the other side it looks pretty much the same but the portion that is you know light green is actually dark purple from the other side isn't that cool? Both of these leaves, you know, freshest leaves have this beautiful purple color underneath. This is so beautiful and I just love these strikes of purple on these parts of the leaves. This is actually what brought me to this Phalaenopsis orchid and most often than not I buy Phalaenopsis orchids for obviously blooms, right? Because they're the most striking parts of the plant. But this time, you know, I am completely aware that orchids do not bloom, you know, all year round. So most of the time I am able to see only foliage and this time I think I just scored a very nice deal because the foliage itself is beautiful, purple, colorful and I flip and love it. And blooms, of course, oh my gosh, I love this deep burgundy color. Oh my gosh, just look how striking it is on this footage, oh my gosh, yeah. So this is a plant that I bought. I know this is nothing special, no crazy anthuriums and philodendrons, but this is something that I was really feeling like I really wanted to update my orchid collection and soon if you would love of course let me know in the comments if you would I would fill my updated orchid collection because I have some new specimens that I'm really excited about so let, let me know in the comments but for now this is the plan that I want to work with today and even though you think what else you want to work with well I have a pot and I really want to repot it and I know this is like not the smartest idea to do it while, while it is blooming but honestly I can see some roots being rotten over here so I really want to take this plant out of the spot get rid of some of the soil you know get rid of the dead roots and then plant it into freshly nice soil mix and I want to do it in this terracotta pot and since I feel inspired I want to paint something on it and if you are a little bit newer on my channel you probably do not know but I love painting on my terracotta pots I mean you can see that most of my background terracotta pots have something on them and I think this is like the coolest spice added to your you know houseplant collection so instead of having pretty boring terracotta pots I add a little spice to them you know and this one isn't new as you can tell it has nice you know it has like time and water uh, signs on it and I actually love it so I want to paint in here something a little bit spooky and I want to work with this beautiful burgundy color so you know it will be like a nice complex so I have a design in my mind it's a little bit spooky and I want to go ahead paint it in today's video and then plant this orchid into the spot and that's about it oh my gosh okay I feel like I over explained this part way too much but long story short today we're painting the pot and then reporting the Phalaenopsis orchid and then having a good day hopefully you are in for a ride <laughs> so right now i will probably insert some kind of music and start painting the pot because this process will take me about a couple hours i would say i'm not sure every single time each drawing takes me very different time it can you know be from a couple hours to eight hours or more so we will see about that i have pretty similar pretty easy design in my mind so i think it won't take too long and well you will be the judge let me show you a little up close how i am painting pots and of course since this one will be to myself and i won't be you know selling it and sending it out to the world i might be a little bit lazy but we'll see let's turn the music on and let's paint this flipping pot
years. Wow. everyone so I just finished everything up I potted this plant already I actually thought I will do this right now as I'm sitting with you talking with you but you know what it's such a moody day and I just don't feel like you know talking too much I wanted to stay quiet my actual throat is a little bit sore I think this ended up looking so cool I actually at first thought maybe I will make this potion looking like you know all this burgundy purple or something similar to this color but then I thought that the black will work the most perfectly with it so instead I added bubbles of burgundy and purple color so let me know what I think about this quick drawing I actually made it in less than an hour I would say so this is like one of the fastest drawings I have ever drew I have ever drawn on a pot and I'm actually really happy about it right now I need to wait for the dye to dry out and then I will erase the leftovers of pencil like this for example right and this is all ready to go somewhere in my home i'm really happy about the whole result i still think that this darker terracotta pot makes the color of a bloom pop and i think even the foliage is really cool and striking and i want to put it somewhere so i will be able to see the plant from all over the sides because it's just gorgeous right so let me know what do you think about today's video what do you think about my new purchase have you ever seen foliage on Phalaenopsis orchid like this. I mean, this is definitely something out of ordinary, at least in my book, I've never seen anything like this. Most of the time the leaves on these orchids are either green or either, you know, really deep purple, but I have never seen variegation like this. So I'm actually really stoked about this orchid. And this is a beautiful reminder that I can be a badass woman and I need to stop be scared of the world for, you know, memories and all of that. So rock on, you know? <laughs> What's up, baby? What do you want to say? What's up? Thank you. Thank you. You're so nice. Anyways. Okay. Okay. All right. So this will be it for today's video. I'm not sure how short it is or long it is, but I really do hope it was fun for you to watch. What's up? You need some love. You need some love, baby, right? Oh, I get it. I get it. I really get it. We'll have days like this, you know? Yes. The other baby is jealous. Now you need some love. Oh my gosh, guys, we all need love, you know? Thank you so much for watching. Before leaving you, let me teach you another language lesson. So I'm pretty sure that in the intro you saw the whole table prepared for our family members to sit down and remember my dad and, you know, just the whole thing. And one of the dishes were actually devil's egg. Is that called in English? I mean, the eggs that have inside made with some, you know, cool stuff. Anyway, so egg, right? Let me teach you how to say egg in Lithuanian, in Russian, and in Polish, because why the heck not, right? So if you want to say egg, one singular egg in Lithuanian, you need to say kiushinis. Once again, kiushinis. And if you want to say egg in plural, you need to say kiushini. Once again, kiushini. And if you want to say egg in Russian as one singular egg, you need to say yitzo. Once again, yitzo. And if you want to say eggs, like in plural, you need to say yaitza. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to say yaitze, <laughs> which is like, you know, balls. You know, like, 
Anyway, <coughs> all right. And in Polish, if you want to say one singular egg, you need to say jajko, which is pretty similar to the Russian, right? Once again, jajko. And if you want to say eggs like plural, you need to say jajka. Once again, jajka. I have a little bit of an accent, I mean, not a little bit of an accent when I say things in Polish, so keep that, you know, in mind, but you still get the idea, right? But anyway, thank you so much for watching and hanging out during this pretty moody weekend and start of the week. I am trying to do my best, I am trying to keep my hands somewhere else, and it, it's kind of working, especially when my family is helping out and I do not feel that alone. So thank you for you also helping me out and chatting with me and keeping myself a company. This always helps. It always helps to read your comments, to see the likes on the videos and know that people, whenever they see my video, they love the video. So they push the like button and or click the like button. But anyway, just I'm feeling a little bit sad. So just really thank you for following me on this journey and subscribing to my channel, liking this video, commenting, and hopefully, guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye.